Hey, what's up guys? This is part two of my Christmas clean and decorate with me series. I am doing a holiday giveaway this year. I'll be giving away a couple of my favorite cleaning products, a six pack of mop shoes and my favorite mop, my O-Cedars mop and bucket, the whole system. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment below which item you would like to enter to win. You can also comment both if you're interested in being in the drawing for either one. I will be announcing the winner in part three of my Christmas clean and decorate with me, which will also have a lot of decorating in it. So if you're interested in winning some free stuff, definitely like, subscribe, and comment below. You can also so comment both so good luck happy holidays I'm so excited about today's video today I'm going to start out by decorating my living room storage dresser I got this gorgeous sequin table runner off of Amazon I'll link it in the description below they have so many different colors and I just love how the sequins catch the lights a really simple way to add a little touch of elegance and sparkle without being overly feminine I'm just so in love with it what I like about the green is I could use it later for St. Patrick's Day. If you wanted to go with a red, that would look really nice for Valentine's Day. Depending on the color, you use it for so many different holidays. I mean, if you got a silver one, you could probably use it practically all year long and that'd be gorgeous. <laughs> I got these beaded Christmas trees from Michaels. So I tried actually to reuse a lot of stuff from last year and it worked out really well. I only bought a few things this year and it really switched up my decor so much. hang this gorgeous wreath above my wood stove. I just added some LED string lights that I got from Costco. Before I add my garland to the top of my storage bookcases, I am just dusting it off. As you can see, it really needs it. I don't know. 
know what happened. I guess my camera wasn't filming when I put the garland up and hung this Merry Christmas sign. So I couldn't find the footage. Oops. My husband got this Christmas tree for me. It was left behind in one of the houses he bought to flip. Been wanting a bigger Christmas tree for a couple of years now and this was free. So can't get better than free. I love adding extra strands of life. It just emphasizes all of the ornaments and makes everything sparkle and glow really nicely. I just got some inexpensive strands of lights from Walmart in both clear and red. My middle daughter, Ashlyn, she's five. She was just so excited about the Christmas tree this year. That's one thing I love about Christmas and decorating is the kids absolutely love it and it just makes your home feel so magical. So I love Christmas decorating. These are some of the ribbon that I got at Michael's. I decided to go with a black and white buffalo check and base my tree off of that. And I have always been super attracted to the buffalo check pattern. Here is one of my row tips for decorating your tree using this mesh ribbon or wired edge ribbon that's really wide. It gives your tree so much fullness and volume and it creates the perfect backdrop for all of your decorations and everything just to really shine to their full potential. I feel like without it, my tree would not turn out anywhere near as cool. It's definitely one of the number one keys to having an amazing Christmas tree and it's actually really inexpensive I ended up buying more ribbon than I needed if I was gonna go with anything I would get two rolls of decorative mesh in different colors and I would get one ribbon for an accent when I'm putting the decorative mesh in I like to start at the top tuck it in make a little C shape tuck it in make another little C shape and I just let the roll of decorative mesh fall to the floor and when I am done tucking everything and go to the bottom of the tree then I cut it that way you know that you're not going to make it too short or too long it just makes sure that none of your precious mesh is wasted so I start with one cut color and then do the second color of Next, I'm going to just add ribbon. I want a really strong buffalo check feeling to this tree. So I'm going to add it in between all the different areas of the decorative mesh so that it has a really strong feeling of the buffalo check. If you wanted it to be a little more subtle, you could add it in less places, but I wanted it to really stand out. So I added several rows of it and I definitely had enough ribbon with this roll, even have some leftover.
dun dun dun. Meanwhile, as I'm decorating, the kids are playing zombies or mummies with the ribbon. I was like, oh my, well, you know, be careful not to get it around each other's necks too tight, okay? Okay. Another one of my row Christmas tree tips is, is using floral picks instead of only hanging ornaments. Decorative picks are so much easier to use and they just make your tree look so cool. Depending on which ones you choose, they are a similar price. I just love working with them. I feel like they just give it so much fullness, dimension, and they're really easy and fun to work with. just playing around with it, poking them in, seeing how I like them, and just arranging them until I get them just the way I like it. I like to stand back and look at the tree and kind of see where it needs things. Another pro Christmas tree tip is actually starting from the top with the star. It's different and a little bit backwards than your traditional tree decorating, but I love starting at the top, having the top be almost like a centerpiece of the whole tree overall, making it really fun and interesting. This year I have the one big star and then I had some floral picks that had little stars and snowflakes so I just poked those in and tried to create a special area at the top of the tree and I think it turned out really good. I wanted to have a lot of silver and just a little bit of red. I wanted to have more silver than red because with the black and white buffalo check, I felt that it really complemented it. I found these big snowflake floral picks at Hobby Lobby. They are 50% off. At first I was sticking them in as one big bunch and then I realized if I 
ripped them apart. This is something I love to do with my flower arrangements is break up bigger floral picks into several small pieces. They're easier to work with and make your own unique arrangement. So I just ripped these up into three separate snowflakes and it really allowed me to add them to the tree a lot easier and have a better overall design throughout the tree versus having clumps of snowflakes maybe just on the side. It allowed me to add some all over. These are actually one of my favorite things I got for the whole tree. They're big so that creates a big visual impact and that is actually another pro tip. Use oversized ornaments or oversized floral picks at least a couple and that will really elevate your tree to the next level. It creates kind of a bold unique look that says this tree is amazing and it really does. Even on this video and the pictures, I try to capture how cool this tree looks. It's just so hard to even capture how magical it is. is a tip I really find that using the wire ornament hangers makes it so much easier to decorate with versus the string that some of them come with I love the wire because you can just wrap it around the tree it secures it on so much better and I feel like they're way easier to work with so if you've never tried wire ornament hangers I would definitely try those they're super cheap too I think it's like a dollar for a pack of a hundred So now what I'm doing is adding some of my smaller picks, stepping back, seeing where it needs an ornament or a little pop of color or sparkle, and I'm adding some of my hanging ornaments and my picks throughout the tree.
Christmas, oh Christmas, how we longed for you. Christmas, oh Christmas, the child is born anew. a couple floral picks left over so I'm just adding them into my garland that's above my storage bookshelves to tie the garland and the tree together. I'm just doing a quick vacuum because as you know Christmas ornaments can be like a bomb of glitter that went off and that's definitely what happened on this tree. And I am adding this buffalo check tree skirt. I found this at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. I feel like it really brings out the buffalo check that's in the tree and really takes this farmhouse winter wonderland tree to the next level.
Next, we are going to be adding a little bit of winter holiday bedding to our master bedroom. I found this sheet set at Target. It was super inexpensive. They're so cozy and warm. They look very Christmassy to me without being cheesy. So I really love this sheet set. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season. Sleigh bells ringing. When I'm doing my pillowcases, Sometimes I like tuck both ends of the pillowcases in. It creates kind of an envelope look and I feel like it makes it look really clean and crisp. Chosen, snow is falling, Elfie's calling, check my list twice, most of y'all done, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season, sleigh bells ringing, diamonds blinging, carols singing, favorite season, they say say Nick, but you got up in that bag, yeah, I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, Yeah. I got racks, racks in my sack, hurt my back, yeah. Yeah. 
Usher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen. Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen. No, I can't forget about the one with the red nose. When I fly high, my sleigh still stay ten toes. Bring the beat, bring the cheese, bring the cheese. Put the lights up, tis the season. Need no French ties, no Ebenezer. Don't believe it. If you like the video, make sure to leave me a big thumbs up. And just a reminder, if this week will be the last week to enter our holiday leaning giveaway, all you have to do to be eligible for this giveaway or these giveaways are like, subscribe, and comment which giveaway you'd like to enter, the mop shoes or theater's mops. You can enter both contests if you like. Definitely make sure to do that this week. Happy holidays. I hope your holiday season is filled with peace, love, and fun. Thanks for watching.